Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. Last time, we started playing as members of the Raven Gang, and uh, the leader of the gang, Roko, he kind of left us because he thinks that Race and Dean are just kind of cowardly and weak. Oh, yeah, totally. He kind of screwed himself, so yeah. Whoa! What in the world is this thing? Oh, man. Yikes! It's time for Octomam! No, that's something else. Anyway, shake this guy down. Okay, yeah. Lower his defense, and then just kind of go after him right there, yeah. Pretty simple, pretty easy. It's pretty much the same sort of thing. Space Jam, seriously? That crappy-ass movie from the 90s? Ugh, did anybody actually like that movie? Like, it was so bad. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah. Take these guys, we don't need Rocco. Oh, but they're actually kind of easy. Hmm. Oh, yeah, you're probably right. Huh. No, I don't think so. Oh. Huh. Okay, is it just me, or does Dean look like somebody else from another JRPG? I can't put my finger on it, and it probably has to do with his hair being all slicked back, and then the two little things in the front right there, but he looks just like somebody else's character sprite in a JRPG. And I just can't, it's like right at the tip of my tongue, and I can't put my finger on it. I want to say the person that I'm thinking of is like a ninja or something, and he has black hair, and it's all slicked back. But it's like, uh, it's, I, I can see it in my mind, but I can't think of his name or the title of the game, and it's driving me fucking crazy. So if anybody else can think of what it is that I'm thinking of, please let me know in the comments, because I'm like lost here. I don't know. So apparently they're worried about Rocco, so we need to go and find him. <laughs> so let's just keep on going over this way. Oh, kind of nice. Yeah, um... What else was I going to say? We have seen the Raven Gang a couple of times. We saw them the first time whenever we kicked their ass back in the warehouse district with Estelle. And, whoa, get away from me. And we saw them again um, at the martial arts competition. Where um, we also kicked their ass. So, yeah. Yikes, man. Lots of things just flying after you in here. What we got here? Oh, tiara ball. Nice. Oh. Wow, these treasure chests are, like, really in love with us. We steal their shit and they fall in love with us. It's like some battered wife syndrome gone bad. Well, not that that isn't already bad, but you know what I mean! Yikes, there's a monster coming towards me! I don't want to be anywhere near it! Oh. Oh, is it Rocco? That was quick. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, that's because you're frozen? Yeah, pretty much. You kind of suck. Oh. We have plenty of food that we can use. Or we could just throw a bomb at him. That works, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, you were the one that bailed. Yeah, we didn't bail. Oh. Okay. Let's do it to it. Whoa. It's like boss time, except it's not. Master Cryon, okay, 2,600 HP. Uh, let's see, we'll use a shakedown on it. Hopefully that works. We shall see. Yeah, sometimes they resist. Yeah, he resisted, so I'm not going to worry about it. So just basically go all out and just continually attack this guy, because that's really all you can do. Yeah, you do have access to various foods and things like that, uh, but I wouldn't worry about it. So he casts... Um, what is it? It's like set-based arts. Basically, he's not targeting a character. He's actually targeting an area. So on higher difficulty levels where you can't kill him before he just casts a spell, move. Move out of his casting range so you don't get hit by a spell. Otherwise, just kill him before he can actually do anything. I mean, that's the way I would do it. It's the easiest thing to do, so why not? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, because you're our friend? Really, asshole? You were frozen. You were in a cube of ice. Seriously. Don't try to act so damn big. What's your problem? 
Yeah, I mean, like, you know, you can't handle everything at once, and honestly, Dean, Rocco might take you a little bit more seriously if you didn't have that retarded bandit on your nose. Like, you look like a moron. Take that crap off. What's wrong with you? Just have the scar. It's distinguishing, you know? It's nice. It builds character, as my father would say. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you were kind of pushing us along the entire time. Yeah. I mean, we're here too, you know, we're not as gung-ho as you are, and we're not, like, so driven as you are, but we're here. We're in this together, we've been doing the training just as much as you have. So stop being such a freaking asshole. Really? Really? You were kind of a dumbass getting, uh, frozen into a block of ice. Yet yeah, there's a reason why I didn't equip accessories on Rocco. Because he leaves your party for a little bit, and, you know, you'd rather have the accessories and the people that are with you the entire time. Considering the characters are pretty much interchangeable for the most part. Their stats are a little bit different, like one's a little bit faster than the other or whatever, but for the most part, they're just interchangeable. It's kind of like the robots in Robotrek. You know, it's like, I, I think the red one excels in attack, the blue one excels in defense, and the green one excels in speed, but for the most part, they're interchangeable. It's negligible. Why don't you... What? Have you lost your mind? What the hell do they owe you an apology for? You're the one who left! Or we could have just left you for dead. You know, that could have worked too. Um, the monster could have killed you? Seriously? What's your problem? Yeah. Oh, wow. Did he apologize to us? Smooch? Um, I don't think he goes that way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was kind of, um, out there, if you uh, catch my drift there. So, ignore that door right there. Head on over this way for this door to get some more treasure. And again, avoid the uh, centermost part, just because I don't think that there's a monster in there, but you never, ever know. Kleptomaniac issues. We're not sharing on Young and the Restless. I mean, come on. Oh, okay. I don't think any of my viewers watch any soap operas like I do. I'm kind of obsessive. <laughs> if any of you guys watch them all, you know, let me know. Um, but I, I, I probably watch way too many of them, but it's just me. Well, we've met a dragon here, uh, one time, so I'd imagine it would be roomy for, you know, the dragon to be here. Oh, yeah. Oh. Huh. Yeah, maybe there's more to it. And who are you? Well, who is it? Oh, it's Agate, yeah! Oh, so you saw Rocco bail on us. Uh, yeah, he is kind of an asshole. So, maybe Dean and Race should pass and Rocco can fail? It wasn't all that complicated. I mean, there was one point where I kind of lost my bearings looking for a treasure chest, but it wasn't bad. I mean, I've been to much worse places than this place. Like that fortress that we went to, that place was a pain in the ass. Man. Oh, well, that's good. Hey, awesome, so that means that we pass? Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, well, that's good. So, did we do it? Oh. Yikes! Yeah, of course we have to fight him. He just got finished saying that we are good racers because of our strength! He just got finished saying, Well, I know that you guys are strong enough, stronger than the average junior bracer, but, you know, your decision-making skills aren't all, you know, up to par. So instead of giving us, like, a riddle or a test or some sort of thing to, you know, test our intellect, yeah, let's test your strength. Go at me, bro. For boss time, it's Agate himself. Yeah, on higher difficulty levels, heal. But on mine, just shake him down. I don't know why you have to run away to use your shakedown. Whoa! But yeah, get his defense down, and then just wail on the asshole. 
It makes it so much easier with a shakedown. Yeah, I know it takes up a turn, but honestly, without it, you'd be hitting him for 500 to 600 damage. And with a shakedown, you're hitting him for much, much more. Yeah, he can use his little crafts against you, which can be pretty annoying, but it's nothing that you can't handle. If he gangs up on one party member, you can heal them um, if you want to. Another thing that you could do, um, his defense, his, his little defense down thing went away, but we do have knockout meatballs, so we could use that against him if you're really having trouble. BAM! For shit tons of damage! So, that's the way that I choose to do it. Hey, look at that experience! Ten and experience. Nice! Yeah, totally. We did kind of cheat using our food, but eh, it's there. Oh. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, well, thanks. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, give us our report cards. What have we got? Oh, well, thanks, yeah. Oh, well, there's nothing wrong with playing it safe. I mean, he's just cautious. Oh, well, great. So we do have good decision-making skills, so we are kind of smart. Oh, except that we can't think critically. <laughs> so, yeah, we're not all that smart. Oh, yeah, but you're kind of, um, not really a team player, I've got to say. Oh, yeah, you kind of almost died? Oh, so we failed. Oh, well, that sucks. Tenter hooks? What does that even mean? I've never heard that term before. I'm gonna imagine it means like, you know, I was walking on pins and needles or on eggshells the whole time. You were really nervous, you know, about the outcome, but I've never heard tender hooks. That's different. Oh. Oh. Huh. So we pass as a team and we fail as individuals? So we're pretty much losers. <laughs> oh. Great, awesome. So we did pass. Oh, we have a conditional pass. That's just lovely. Oh, uh, okay. So, you know, we can live a life of, um, you know, not, not a life of crime. Just, you know, an honest, nice living. That's awesome. Yeah, great, thanks. Hey, sweet. Now, if you remember, Way back in Agate's door, um, he had a chance to talk to Gundolf, and Gundolf was talking about how, um, you know, they had so many jobs to do, and there was the workload was piling up, and blah, 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 that he couldn't do it all on his own, and then Agate said, hey, I think that I have some uh, people that can come here and help you guys out. He didn't exactly name any names, but you could put two and two together. These are the people that he was referring to, the people that would be able to, you know, head over there and uh, help out. So it's kind of nice, you know, it all comes full circle. Oh, wow. Hey, that's nice of you. Sweet. Yeah, uh, they're gonna need new weapons because their attack power kind of sucks without that shakedown skill. Oh, I wish I had something like shakedown for, like, my main party. I think the best I have is Chloe's craft that lowers their defense and strength or something, but it's only been like, what, 20% defense and minus 15% strength? Or it, it, it could be opposite of that, I'm not entirely sure because I never use it because it's terrible, and it doesn't even deal any damage. It's like, I'd rather just have, you know, the 100%. Really? Are they really bringing up Tita here? Seriously? Wow. Yeah, uh, he just patched you guys conditionally? He could turn around and fail you again. Your judgment really is terrible, isn't it? You guys are awful. <laughs> yeah, chase after him. Holy shit! Whoa, that's kind of major, Agate. He's like, uh, if you fall behind, you're gonna get decapitated. The punishment is death. Whoa, that's insane. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, but Agate really likes him deep down inside, I'm sure. You know, he is a soft spot for him. He was the leader of their gang, after all. Oh, hey. 
Training agate style. Complete. Ooh. Super gladiator headband and like no gold. Cheapskate ass door. Okay. So let's see. We'll go ahead and uh, check that thing out. Yeah. Who cares about defense? I certainly don't. But it raises your strength and more importantly your CP recovery rate goes through the roof. It's so freaking good. And we still have a little bit of time. I really do need to go and change my party around and actually, you know, equip my party members and put orbments on them because I haven't because I just kind of stuck them in my party for right now. Well, actually, I kind of think, wait, did I or didn't I? Oh, okay, I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, these people are, are, are equipped, so yeah, I'm just talking out of my ass right now. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not going to be using them in this door, but I figured I can go ahead and kind of get the, you know, opening cutscenes out of the way for heading over here since we do have, um, a little bit of time. We can see what's, you know, awaits us on the sixth plane. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Are you, uh, doing okay? Oh, yeah. Let's get to it. Wow, that must have been like the shortest conversation in the history of the Legend of Heroes series. Like normally it's like anytime somebody opens up their mouth they have to go on and on and on. But not that time. That was kind of nice, kind of refreshing. Huh. Is this... this Herb Scenic Villa? Where are we? Oh, oh okay, the, the Herb Scenic route. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, more than likely. Okay, yeah, and we're gonna go exploring this place, and I'm gonna change my party around for next time. Let's play the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a good day.